Hi, I'm Michael with Gizmo Productions in Orlando, Florida. We've been providing cutting-edge creative branding products to our clients for many years, and we've even won national awards for our creative efforts. With as much fun as we're having doing our videos, I wanted to do a series that could be used not only by our clients, but also for the would-be do-it-yourselfers who like to be hands-on with their company's marketing. So we're beginning this series, which we call Marketing Tips for Business Owners. These tips and shortcuts can work for any size business, whether you're doing it yourself or working with a marketing company. So let's get right into it. Here we go. Tip number one, develop an expertise. You might be saying, I'm not an expert, but in fact, I bet that you are. I don't know what your area of expertise is, and you may not even know. But together, we need to find out what it is. If you are in business, then you must be, at some level, an expert in something. And whether you realize it or not, thousands of people are searching for your expertise to improve their lives or build their business. Experts provide value, so you need to carve out a slice of the pie and claim it as your own. Decide what your specialty is and become an expert in that field. A common phrase in internet marketing is, go an inch wide and a mile deep which refers to the importance of a clearly focused specialization. Search engines like Google love narrow niches, so it is totally possible that people can dominate a niche with massive expertise. Pick a specific topic and become an expert in that field. The process of establishing your qualifications as an expert involves three steps. One, pick a narrow, specific topic. Two, acquire massive expertise. And three, Present yourself as an expert. Now step one is totally up to you, and we will talk about step three in our next installment, but we can begin tackling step number two right now. We'll implement an exercise that will take a bit of time, but if done properly, it will yield amazing results. First, pick a few keywords to describe your specialty. Then do the following. Go to ezinearticles.com and do a search for the keywords you chose to describe your area of expertise. There will be tons of free articles from other people about your topic. Look over the list and read some articles that catch your eye. Next, go to iTunes Music Store. Click on Podcasts and do a power search for your keywords. You'll find hundreds of free podcasts about your topic. Sort the results by popularity and subscribe to the top ones. Then. Listen to the podcast while commuting to work or during your workout at the gym. Now go to YouTube and search for how to followed by your same keywords. You'll find incredible free videos that people have made about your topic. Watch the videos and learn. Not only will you be introduced to your competition, but you'll gain tremendous expertise in the process. This exercise demonstrates the nearly limitless resources that are right at your fingertips. It also will help you to define and refine your specialty. You'll see what others are already doing, and more importantly, you'll see what they're not doing, at least not yet. Pick your topic, stake your claim, and start building your expertise. Now here's a checklist for your implementation of today's concepts. Decide on a field you can specialize in. Select a few keywords for your specialty. Use your keywords to find articles on ezinearticles.com. Use your keywords to find podcasts on iTunes. Use your keywords to find videos on YouTube. Make notes and build your expertise. Notice what your competition is doing. Also notice what your competition is not doing. Compare notes and ideas with a colleague. I hope that you've enjoyed today's segment on defining your expertise. If we can be of any assistance, please give us a call or drop us an email. Also, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and connect with us on LinkedIn. This is Michael with Gizmo Productions. Happy defining. We'll talk to you soon.